What's going on guys, Joe with OMGRC.com. Welcome, and you know what's going on. We got the Kaiju EXT. This is extended, so that's what that EXT is. Extended version, it's got a longer wheel, it's got a longer wheelbase than the current Kaiju. So kind of keep that in mind, price is a little bit more, but got discount codes for you. So take a look at those, enter those in when you go at checkout, so you can save a little extra money on, any of the vehicles that you see on here, there's a little disclaimer or whatever. But anyway, let's get over to the pre-orders. I'll put links down in the description below. And you guys want to know when this thing's coming out next month. So I don't know exactly when, you know, all these shipping delays or whatever, but they did say November. Sorry. Yeah, November. So we're almost at the end of the year. So anyway, let's go ahead and click on this. So under pre-orders, like I said, I'll put links down in the description below so you guys can uh, check these out at your own leisure. We are limited on the amount that we could order, but we've already ordered them. So we're good on that part of it. So I jumped on that real quick for you guys. Now, you guys let me know which one you like. This, these are 1-8 scales. So they come in a copper Kaiju EXT and also a white Kaiju EXT. So these are 1-8 scale monster trucks, 6S power. You can put them on 4S power as well. Uh, let's take, take a look at this white one, uh, like a Stormtrooper. So I do like the copper one as well. But if I had to favor one or the other a little bit more, I'd probably say the white one. But anyway, so keep in mind, these don't come with any batteries or charger. So you're going to need four AA batteries for your radio. Then you're going to need, you know, like two 2S LiPos with Dean connections or, you know, two 3S LiPo with Dean connections. That's what it comes with now. These are, it's a 150 amp electronic speed controller. But the stance on this thing is nice. Speaking of stance, this thing's got belted tires it's sitting on. That's pretty dope. Uh, big up to Red Cat for doing that one. Because, you know, we get a little tired of the ballooning. So these this thing looks to be more roadworthy when it comes to it. So it's not really like big grippy tires like it was on the Kaiju, those big knobbies. So on this one here, it's more like this thing's going to be a street demon. And it's got the wheelie bar on the back of it. So it looks good. It's got the spoiler. It's ready to rip. It's even got an actual functional hood scoop on it so I actually can take in some air there and kind of keep it cool speaking of cool this thing now has aluminum fan cooler for your motor so very nice on that one comes standard you don't have to go out and buy one of those so thank you red cat for that one and you can see here it's got the Dean connections so those T style connections that's what you're gonna need unless you want to solder and put your own connections or adapters on it but there you go velcro straps to hold in your batteries I do like the Velcro just because it gives you a lot of options instead of like just a bar going across it. So definitely thank you on that one because making it versatile that way. Now, aluminum shocks on this thing. This thing is definitely decked out. It's got lots of goodies on it when it comes to it, um, just with the upgrades and stuff like that that it says. So you can look at all that stuff as well as far as the little things that they've done to it. It's got a new motor mount on it. It's got new metal uh, servo horn, even the rear wing. Uh, so yeah, this thing's got quite a bit of stuff. And like I said, it's got a, a working air scoop on it. And like they said before, here the chassis that uh, for this is a, little bit is a little bit bigger than before, a little bit longer. So you can see that as well. In addition, 50, okay, so a 51 millimeter wheelbase over the uh, original Kaiju. So okay, pretty nice. Just got a little bit extra, a little bit of wheel stance, a little bit more stability in it. So that's definitely a good thing on that one. And what else is so... Um, let me go down here. It's got a 25 kilogram servo. Hey, I'm good with that. It's got 17 millimeter aluminum hex hubs. So that's going to be able to go with a lot of different rims, tires, what have you. So that way they'll fit on there. So 17 millimeter is definitely like the norm when it comes to 1.8 scale. I like that. Not some weird number that it's hard to find tires for it or whatever. So pretty nice on that one. Scrolling down, like I said, I'll put links down in the description below check it out but this thing's got 150 amp electronic speed controller hobby wing electronic speed controller nonetheless definitely like the hobby wing stuff it's got a 2100 kv motor so the 4068 so pretty decent sized motor that's in there I'm liking it and there's your 2.4 gigahertz radio that's all standard stuff there it is four wheel drive just in case someone said oh i don't is it four wheel drive yeah it's four wheel drive and uh it's got differentials got three of them in there so you got your your front differential you got a center differential and your rear differential so these are oiled filled. So that means you can tune these, meaning that you can put thinner greases in them or heavier greases, oils, what have you, whatever you want to call it, to allow 
you know, what you're looking for to make those adjustments, putting that power down. So that's pretty nice on that one. And like they said, they're all the sealed drivetrain. So that's nice. So you won't get all that debris in there. So pretty good. And the shocks, all aluminum. Uh, threaded bodies. Okay, that's cool. So I'm liking it. You guys let me know what you guys think about this thing, but this thing's pretty dope. I'm liking it. So we are taking those pre-orders. Like I said, it's going to come out sometime in November. So stay tuned for that one. But like I said, we're taking those those orders now because I'm sure it's getting around Christmas time and these things are going to fly off the shelf for sure. I'm definitely going to fly down the road because these things are pretty, it's got some power to it. Nice and sleek. Now I can tell that was like the rendering from the beginning. And you can see here, even the functional hood scoop on there. And then they have those tethered, you know, the clips on there. I do like that part of it. So if you do take a rollover and, you know, the clip does decide to fly out of there or whatever, or even when you're taking the body off, they're already tethered to the body. So that works out pretty well. Adjustable wheelie bar. And like they said, they have the belted tires on there as well. Oh, Interco. So yeah, good. Very cool. And there's a little video here. So you can kind of check it out, you know, as it's running. So you kind of get a better idea. But the Kaiju was definitely fast. That was a nice one. I liked it. And standing back flips was awesome. Like I said, this one does it as well. It's stated in there. So cool. Let me know what you think about this thing. But until next time, appreciate you guys watching. Check us out. And uh, sign up for our newsletter, omgrc.com. Anyway, catch you guys later. Thank you for watching. Peace.